Can anyone hear me? Sorry about that. Can anyone hear me? Good evening. Unmute yourself if you can hear me or type in the chat box so we can get started. Good evening, everyone. I can hear you. Awesome, awesome. So we have to get started immediately. Um, just to let you all know, this is recorded because of so many people that cannot make it live at the moment. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Pius. Um, we have to get started. We have a lot to do. And, you know, when I was planning the timetable, I'm like, seven days. God will help us. So let's get started immediately. First of all, um, this is my seven days project, the first seven day, my first seven days of 2022. I decided to do this for so many reasons. I cannot just start explaining, but just a little bit of it. In 2021, I, I had a one-on-one -on -one communication with people more than I have ever done in my years of doing business. I was able to, you know, feel people's pain, feel people's ignorance, you know, feel people's ignorance, lack of not knowing what to do and the consequences of those ignorance. You know, I saw a lot of people in 2021, both physically and virtually, that have a lot of potentials, that have a lot of skills, gifts, talents, but at the same time, they were suffering even more than people that you know, don't have as much skill as, as they did. You know, I see people lamenting over some little amount of money. Meanwhile, what they had in them could give them so much more. So 2021 exposed me to a lot of people. So that made me to understand, you know, what people were going through the, mo the most. So while thinking about, you know, everything last year, I did a lot of course last year in 2020 when I spent nothing less than $10,000 on online courses last year on coaches and all that, you know, so I was like, okay, now that I know so much, it is time for me to start creating courses and sell all these things at the fee, you know, but I was stopped in my thoughts. And I would like to call it a divine instruction that you should give out this information for free. And I don't know for how long I'll keep doing this until I'm asked to stop, okay? So um, please, the only plea I have to everyone listening live or that's gonna be watching the replay, don't take this for granted. Don't take this for granted. It is usually normal to take things for granted when you don't pay for it. Like we have over 40 people that registered for this course on the Telegram group. We have about 32 persons, you know, but here I'm not even sure we're up to 10. I mean, those are things that are obtainable when things are free. But my plea is let's take this seriously. Okay, so let's just go right into our slides. Um, my name is Bodina West. I'm the founder of Bounce Back in 30 Days. Bounce Back in 30 Days was a program I started in 2017. And I started it because I was broke, busted, and disgusted. And I was trying to get my, my feet back up. And the strategy I used was helping others get back on their feet. I put up the 30 Days program. It was a free program. I gave my best. I gave my heart. I gave my all. And that program exposed me to who I am today, you know. It was a free program, but I made about one one seven five million naira, one point one million seven five thousand naira in that course. It was free, but I made money because I was giving value, and people were. It was a WhatsApp class. I didn't know better, so I was using WhatsApp to teach. You know, so I teach people private chat me. There was something you talked about. There was something you mentioned. Can you help me do this? Can you help me do that? So I ended up making money in trying to serve people. You know, so. Bounce Back in 30 Days started in 2017 and it has been happening up to date. Though the technology backing it up now is better than what it used to be. I'm not sure I'm going to do a paid Bounce Back in 30 Days this year because this year is more about doing free stuff. So perhaps you might know me in various other brands, Apacari Luxury and Citizens, 
Apakari Luxury Citizens and Travels, which is a travel company, Healthy Shopping Hub, which is a health, a health business, and so many other brands I have worked and consulted for. Um, I consult for a lot of companies. One thing all these brands have in common is that they gain exponential growth and transformation. You know, I like to meet businesses at their low level and take them to extreme heights. That's what I enjoy doing. I help people gain sales and visibilities in their business. So the secrets that all these companies have used is what I'm about to share with you guys in, in the next, not 30 days, in the next um, seven days. So it is worthy of note that we're going to be having live sessions. I didn't want this to be, you know, just the normal online course where people come and watch and go. Sometimes they watch 10 minutes and they're off. So I wanted it to be, I wanted it to be a live session where everyone, can you guys see my screen? Can you see my slide? Can you see yes. my screen? Oh, great. So um, I wanted to be a live session so you can pause me, ask my students, we do practicals together. I have my phone here. I can always share my, my phone screen if there's something I want to show you, maybe on Facebook, on IG and all that. So it's going to be a live session for seven days. But I understand that people might not be available at the time that is set for the program. That is why we're recording the videos so others can come, I mean, and watch it when they can. So we're going to always have live question and answer sessions. And this is going to be 5.30 p.m. every day for the next seven days. Now, day one, we're going to do the bounce back series because majority of the people that signed up for this course, they have, I mean, with the name of the course, first seven days, and everything I said I was going to help women achieve, you will just know that for you to want to achieve that, is there's a possibility that you didn't make sales or profit or growth in your previous years. So the Bounce Back series, I love to start all my courses, even if it is importation, whatever I teach, whatever I teach, I like to start with the Bounce Back series, the journey to self-discovery. And we're going to be auditing our social media pages at the end of, this, of today's class. We're going to look at our page name, our bio, some people, the things you have in your bio does not sell. Now, there is something I must say before I continue. This 2022, the competition is going to be stiff. It's going to be, it's going to be stronger than ever. In 2017, I did my bounce back in 30 days. I did an advert for $5. I ran an advert of $5 and I had two full WhatsApp groups. One WhatsApp group is 256 person. So two WhatsApp group was 500 and something people with $5, $5, $5 adverts. Five, $5 then was less than 3,000 naira. What am I saying? Less than 2,000 naira in 2017. But now if you do a $100 advert and if you see 20 people, thank God, do you understand? So the competition is getting harder. And for you to remain up there, your strategies must be top notch. I didn't run advert on this program because I didn't want a crowd. It's the first time I'm doing live um, for seven days. I this like a test run for me. If it works well, I can now go big. You know, I didn't do an advert, I just posted it and I had. 40 something people registered, 32 people on the Telegram group, you know. So I'm just saying competitions will be harder. It will be tougher because more people are knowledgeable, more people are aware of what to do, more people are becoming intelligent, more people are doing courses and they have coaches, you know. So you can't just be, you know, just seated and expect amazing things to happen, okay? So we're going to audit our page today and be sure that your page is ready for the market. Day two, which is tomorrow, we'll do product and business branding. You know, I met a lady on, on Instagram. She had a live program and she had an amazing brand. She sells hair and um, she delivers free nation worldwide, worldwide free delivery. So any starter can use her for drop shipping. I mean, free delivery worldwide. So I now went, when I saw that live, I went quickly to her page. Like, I'm like, for you to offer this kind of service, you should have like 1 million followers. But when I went to her page, she had less than less than 500 followers. So I'm like, ah, what's going on here? Her page branding was whack. Her designs were whack. So offering amazing service, but her page was a total mess. A total mess. So product and business branding is something we're going to do tomorrow. Then tomorrow we're going to be deleting that thing called fear. Yeah. Most of us, please mute your mics. Most of us have not gotten to where we want to get just because of that thing, that that yes. fear. That yes. That yes. Yes. Um, Jennifer. Mm. Jennifer, 
Did she Please like me to um let me just mute everybody mute all all right so great so um you might have an amazing idea but your page branding is a total mess up i was talking about fear we have to delete that thing called fear fear is holding us back the difference between who you are today and who you wish to be you know from here to here, from point A to point B. This is who you are right now. And this is who you earnestly desire to be. The distance between this thing is called fear. You know what to do. You, you have what it takes to become who you want to be, but you're just afraid. And funny enough, what you're afraid of, I call it the fear of the unknown because it is fear that does not even exist. It is fear that does not make sense. Fear of, you know. So one thing I have noticed that can be used to destroy fear is ability to do videos. You see this video I'm doing here? either video through Zoom or video through recording video for advert or video for YouTube, anything video I have noticed, it can be used to destroy fear. So tomorrow, everybody that is really, really, really ready for a change will be creating their YouTube channel if they don't already have. I mean, if you have a Gmail account, you automatically have a YouTube channel. You don't just know about it. You create a YouTube channel and you will start marketing something. Of course, when we finish today's class, you will understand what that something is going to be. You need to start talking. You need to go out there. See, fearlessly wins it from this year. People are sharper. People are wiser. You can't be dulling and expect a transformation. It is not possible. It is not possible. I mean, all the creation that God needs to do, he has already done it. God is not creating any other thing new. You are the one to create. Creation has been done by God. You're the one to discover and create things. So if you're expecting something to happen in 2022, it is not going to be coming from God. All things pertaining to life and godliness, he has given it to you already. So if you're broke, it's your fault and it is not God. Please, let's stop blaming God. If you're not making progress, it is not God. All those prayers you're praying, he has given you the sense, step out audaciously, fearlessly, and become who you want to become. So we are, tomorrow we are working on fear. We are deleting that thing called fear, creating our YouTube channels, you know, branding our YouTube pages and uploading our first video. So before 5.30 p.m. on the third day, I want to see link sent on the Telegram group. If you're not on the Telegram group, don't worry. I'm going to send you the link, you know, or what way on the other. You will always receive emails as long as you are registered. Okay. So you're, I want to see your videos. We, even if you're talking nonsense, even if you're speaking rubbish, just say it. Kill that fear and step out. If you're selling hair, show us how to maintain hair. If you're selling nails, show us the colors not to use on a particular day. Maybe this is an off color for today, right? Whatever. Whatever you are selling, there must be something you can teach people based on what you sell. You sell fish food, there must be something you can tell us on what year, at what level should a fish eat this or eat that Talk about your products, talk about your services, teach people something. So day two, we're killing that fear. And day three, we're gonna be talking about how to make importation easy. Most product, now I'm talking about these days because honestly speaking, some of you don't need all the days. So you can choose the days you wanna skip, all right? But um, day three, importation made easy. You know, importation has been, um, has been made to look like one very serious thing. I was speaking to a CEO of Spread It Global two days ago, and um, he, the way he just, I mean, concluded on bringing in the products I want to bring in this year, he said, when it lands, I will receive an alert on my phone. All I need to do is come to their Lagos office or pick it up, or I tell them where I am. Importation can be made easy. There are people on ground in China that can actually go and verify these things for you. I'm going to give you an example. Let's say you saw this pen on Alibaba for $5, right? There are companies that you can say, oh, I want to buy this thing. I saw it for $5. If you take the link of this pen and send it to that company, they'll come back to you and say, hey, I saw this thing for three dollars though i saw it cheaper than you have seen it because the person you were speaking to is not a, a a manufacturer it is a middleman it's a third party i have seen the manufacturers of this pen and i got it for three dollars but the deal here is you wanted to pay five dollars for it i'm going to help you buy it for three dollars but i'm going to charge you um 50 cents or 30 cents or whatever so at the end of the day you're paying three dollars 
50 cents. So the extra 50 cents is for me, for finding it cheaper, for going directly to. So they do all these things for you. Importation can be made easy. I've had a lot of people send me messages and say, please, I want to learn how to import without an agent. And my question is always, why do you want to do that? Why do you want to do that? There are scammers everywhere and there are scammers in China and they will scam you and you will do nothing. Definitely there are ways you can import without an agent, but my point is why would you even want to do that? What is the magic? What is the joy it gives you that you import without an agent? You always need help. There is no island anywhere. We need collaborations. So day three is how to do that. Importation with ease from China, setting up your payment gateway. Um, there are so many amazing payment gateways in Nigeria that you can set up and you can receive money anywhere in the world. Gradually, I'm gravitating away from Nigeria because to me, a lot of things has not gone like I expected it to go. So I'm, I'm taking my market out there receiving dollars, receiving pounds, receiving any currency of your choice. So how to set up that payment gateway and receive money from everywhere in the world and creating your social links. Everybody join this class through a link on in my bio, right? Normally Instagram gives you access to only one link, but how can you create links that gives you multiple links? I'm gonna show you guys how to do all that in day three. Now day four, creating an online course and an ebook. Guess what? Even if you're selling a pen, there is an ebook you can write on this pen. What kind of ebook can you write from selling pen? You can write on how, um, for people that want to start a pen business, how my pen business is a success. You can create a digital product from every physical product. You can create a digital product from every physical product selling business. So creating an online course or creating an ebook is not a distraction from what you do. It is an enhancement to what you are already doing. All right. So day four, the, the strategies for creating an ebook and an online course, they are all the same. The planning is the same. The only difference is that online courses are videos or audios or PowerPoint slides, while ebooks are just Microsoft Word document that you can convert to PDF and start selling. So, but how to create it, all that, they're easy. And I'm going to show you one of the easiest online selling platform, which one of them is well used in registering seller, seller.co. They are amazing. They just make selling courses so easy those that want to go technical it, because seller you pay monthly for the service but if you want to design with wordpress which i'm not going to do here you can't learn all that in seven days okay so those are things you can learn on youtube how to create your how to host your online courses using wordpress and all that where you don't have to be paying monthly and all that yeah so day five we're going to do copyrights and sales funnel and landing pages you know there is no product to sell right now that you cannot i mean Having a good product and people don't know about the product is a total waste of time. That is why people have products at home and it expires. It will stay in your house and it will expire because people don't know it. I, in my book, Bounce Back, My Bounce Back Secret, I called it Dancing Shaku Shaku in the Dark. I think I wrote that book when Shaku Shaku was raining. I don't know the latest dance step now, right? But Dancing in the Dark. So you go to Dubai, you import perfumes, you rent a good shop on the island, and you paint it with the most expensive paint, buy DSTV, buy plasma TV, buy the good furniture, buy for mica shelves, put rug, put everything, put your products. Then you now sit down and expect witches and wizards from your village to come and buy. So you do not promote, nobody knows you. You don't do advert, nobody sees you. Don't expect people to come. You now be you be cursing village witches and wizards that have not done anything that your business is not succeeding. Meanwhile, you have not done what will bring the people. So you don't just do all that thing and turn off the lights and start dancing and sweating and expecting somebody to see you. So you have to run adverts. And adverts land on a landing page. The whole process is called the sales funnel from your advert to your landing page. Your landing page is you in a digital form. That thing you would tell somebody when they walk to your office or walk to your store and ask a question, the response, the, the gist between you and your client till the point where your client buys a product. That's the, the sales process. That's what we call a sales funnel. So from the advert, something has to capture them, brings them to a landing page, then the copywriting skills that will make them to be persuaded to buy from you. You know, all that whole process is what we're going to be doing on day five without the adverts. Adverts is the last day, day seven. Now, day six is using TikTok effectively. I am not an effective TikTok user, but I have studied how to use it well. So I've just started using it. 
the course is here. I pay $54 for that course and I've got all the skills. So I'm going to teach you. So as I'm teaching you, I'm also teaching myself. All right. But it's going to be an amazing time because we are going to start using TikTok for marketing. A lot of millions of dollars have been made on TikTok and your business can also gain visibility with that platform. Then the last day is running profitable advert using Facebook. Facebook is the bomb. I know there are other ways of running advert, Google ads, etc., YouTube ads, but this advert I'm talking about here is running Facebook ads. So this is going to be what we're going to be doing the next seven days. If somebody likes it, can I just say I like it? If you don't like it, say it's not worth my time. Type is not worth my time if you don't like it. If you like it, say, man, I love it. I'm looking forward to it so that I'm sure I'm not wasting my time. I want to see response, response, response. Type, type, type. If you like the seven days, oh, I'm super excited. Love it. So oh, great, great, great. Excellent. I love this. Great. So nobody's saying something like, I'm, please, I'm wasting my time here, babe. So much value. All right. So let's get started with our bounce back series, which is the most important. Now, majority of us here have failed before. I have failed, not once, not twice. You know, we, we fail in businesses, but the truth is that it is not you that failed. It is the business that failed. Don't you ever forget that. It is an event, not a personality. Don't you ever forget it. You are not the failure. You cannot be, you are not the failure until you give up. So what makes you a failure is when you finally give up and, and say, man, I give up on this. Then at that point you have become a failure. But if you have failed in business. It is the business that you started that failed and not you. And know that the whole process of learning going up and down in business, um, it didn't happen for it to destroy you, to kill you. No, it didn't. What occurred happened to make you better. It came to make you wiser. I tell people, I say, when you go through the dark phase, when you go through the difficult moments, those are part of life. Life will be very boring. Sorry, it is my personal belief system, but life will be very boring if everything just moves smooth and smooth and smooth. In fact, many people will die on time. If everything we asked our parents when we are small, they gave it to us, some of us will die. Imagine you asked for them to give you a car when you're four years old, you would, you would just die. So part of the interesting thing of life is that the good times and the bad times, they all come to make us better. Majority of the things I have learned, becoming the person that people say, oh my God, this lady, she's amazing. For where I learned how to be amazing in my difficult moments, I cannot lay hold of anything good I learned in my good times. Because good times is all flexing, flexing, flexing. Majority of who I am today that people envy came in my worst days. So you cannot totally let go of the bad times. It did not come to kill you. It came to make you better. So we need to start uh, learning and start getting used to using negativities for our good. All things work together for good to those that love the Lord. All things. It did not say good things work together for good. All things. The good will work for your good. The bad will work for your good. The ugly will work for your good. So all things work together for your good. Good, right? In as much as it is the business that failed, there's also a possibility that you cost it. Okay, business success and business failures are caused by a lot of factors. And we're going to be discussing the five most important things that I have seen in trying in doing one on one coaching with people, mentoring people. I have seen the reoccurring reasons why people fail. Okay, so but um you fail doesn't mean you have to stay on the floor. Imagine you're just running, running, running. The next thing you fall, wah, you now start shouting, oh my God, I have fallen. I mean, it sounds stupid. It's weird. So falling and staying there in the normal sense is, is madness. Even if you broke your leg in the process of the fall, you would do whatever it takes with the help of people. You must get up. But people fail in business and they remain there. So it's also like uh, 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 an athlete running and remains on the floor. They will crush you. They will mess you up. Sun will get into your eyes. Things get bad when you remain on the floor. And when I used to teach this in 2017, it wasn't really so real because I have not really fallen, fallen, fallen. Because I remember I had the course in that 2017. What I lost was a 14 million naira. I can remember. And I had somebody that came into the training that lost 3 billion. 
So I'm like, hey, oh, Jesus, how do I want to use 40 million naira experience to teach this guy that has lost 3 billion naira? But right now, we have lost so much that if he could not kill me, then your own is not an excuse. Sorry, but I have to brag about it. I don't think anybody listening to me right now, right now, has probably lost more than I have lost. Not only financial losses, integrity losses, dignity losses, friendship losses. You know, when your friends leave you because of a situation, when your integrity is a mess, is destroyed, and in the midst of all these losses, I will still bounce back. Man, you guys, you don't get an excuse at all. You understand? So there is an energy generated from failure and pain. That is the energy that you use to commit suicide. To commit suicide is not beans. There is a strength, there is a force that comes from pain that you use to carry that rope and kill yourself. That same energy can be converted to push, to push and to become whatever you want to become. You come to a point where you become fearless. Ah, that's the point where you say, man, if I perish, I perish. It's either I succeed or nothing else. Against all odds, against all fear, against all mockery, against all family discouragement, against all friends, whatever. You say, man, in this matter, if I perish, I perish. I go for it. So take advantage of that cry you cry in. You, don't, you can't just cry in the night and you'll not be spending the cry, getting a headache, drinking for an adult. For what? Trans, that those nights you cannot sleep, rise up. I'm in my house right now. In fact, this is supposed to be my room, but I converted it to an office. We have slept enough. So my friends keep visiting and like, and which one is your room? I said, this is my room. There's no bed here. There is no mattress. So in the night, I would tell my husband, I said, oh boy, shift. This is your room, I've turned to our room because my room has been converted to an office. This is the level you get to like, men. we die here. <laughs> no, I don't like to say that. We live here. We don't die here. We're not dying now. I perish, I perish. So you take, take advantage of that thing. When people mock you, rejoice. That's what the scripture said. And if you don't rejoice, it means you're not a believer. So every time we say we're a believer, we're a believer, we're Christian, we're Christians. Sorry if you're a Muslim here, respect to all religions. But whatsoever religion it is, there is something that will be generated in you that you can use for your advantage. Many people use it for their disadvantage. Two wrongs will never make it right. So you fail, you now want to be depressed. How does depression bring you out of this failure. You fail, you now, you know, want to commit suicide. How you take solve the matter? You fail, you want to go and drink alcohol. You use all of them, is you need energy to do all these things. That same energy can be converted to something extremely powerful, all right? Now, why must you bounce back? Number one, to stop people from stepping on you. As long as you keep quiet, remain on the floor, people will keep mocking you, step on you, they'll run over you, they'll, they'll mess you up. Number two reason why you must bounce back to me is the most important reasons. Lives and destinies are connected to you. There are people that will never rise until you rise. There are people that will never succeed until you succeed. There are people that will die if you do not bounce back. Imagine the likes of Ben Carson. Imagine he didn't bounce back. Plenty of people could have been dead if Ben Carson, the heart surgeon, refused to bounce back. Okay, David Oyelepo, let's assume he did not bounce back and answer the call. Imagine the billions of lives connected to him. So to me, that's the most important reason why you must get up. Those people that are connected to you, waiting for you to rise up, they won't rise until you rise. They won't become until you become. So you need to become because there are people waiting for you to become. Number three reason is that results, Sorry to say, is the only thing that cancels insults. So if what you are experiencing in your life right now is insults, my dear, try and have results. Because when result comes, you don't need to preach to somebody. The result will automatically, it will just on its own, this cancel the insults. And number four, bills. You know, they stop. In fact, right now, bills don't increase. Before now, bills, we used to have light bill, water bill, what other bill, um, rent. But bills none have increased because you will do your click funnels bills, your seller accounts, you pay bills, your landing page, all those things, you pay bills, your link, um, social links, all those things are bills. Zoom, Zoom, for me to be talking more than 45 minutes on Zoom, they are bills. 
So as a digital content creator, which is the way to go right now, the bills have increased. So, and all these companies, they will tell you to put your card. They don't even, in fact, they know, <laughs> it's not like um, landlord that you can owe. You can't owe them on that date. But come, they debit you straight up. So the bills will continue to come if you want to be serious in this life. So you got to bounce back, guys. And the fifth reason is you deserve to be happy. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I heard Apostle Selman say something that if anybody tells you that if anybody tells you that you, as a Christian, you don't deserve a good life, you say that person is not a, run away from somebody that tells you that kind of thing. You deserve a good life. You deserve a vacation once in a while. You can't walk, walk, walk all through the year and don't rest. Don't make anybody make you feel bad for having a vacation. Anywhere in the world you want to go, go and rest. Have fun, enjoy. This life is one, one, one. If it's over, it is over. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to have a good life. All right. So why did your business fail? Remember, I talked about the five reasons, you know, um, and at the point where I mentioned something that speaks to you, please tackle it. Whenever you go to the doctor's office, the first question they'll ask you is what is wrong with you? If you don't even know how to identify what the problem is, that's where the problem is. You cannot identify the problem. So do you even know why you failed in the first place? Or let me not even call it failure. Do you even know why you're not making sales? Do you know why your business is not succeeding? Let's talk about the five common reasons. And after these five reasons, tell me if I mentioned something that speaks to your business. And if not, mommy, we could always discuss it later, okay? Number one is lack of focus. I wanna go, go through it one after the other. Lack of focus. You see this focus thing? I've had a lot of enemies because I teach this focus. I've had somebody in my live event in Lagos, I was teaching about focus. The person stood up and walked away because of this lack of focus. Two years after I asked the babe, how far? You want to sell everything in the world? How far, who knows you? She said, I've been doing for business for 14 years. I said, please don't say it again. No talk, I'm again. I started 2017, 18, 19, 20. That year was 2021. I said, four years after you're inviting me to come and speak in your women program, you that have been doing your business for 14 years. Who knows you? What's your business name? Who was it? What's your business? Who knows you? 14 years without impact, 14 years without sales, 14 years you are still attending business and um, seminar that wants to teach how to make sales growth. Lack of focus. Now, I believe in multiple streams of streams of income. Don't get me wrong. I love it. I have multiple businesses. But before you can have more than one, two, three business, make sure there is one business that is rooted and grounded. Now, Dangote has a lot of businesses, but why are we calling Dangote? Because that was the one that was rooted and grounded. There's a lady I love so much on, on, on social media. Um, uh, Miss Wanneka, she sells hair. All right. There's something she, she did in 2021 that I, I so love. Now, she has gained mastery in the hair business. If you are a woman in Nigeria and you don't know Miss Waneka, then it, it, maybe it is well with you. Her hair might not be the very best. That her hair, they are good, but it might not be the best. But she has created a brand around her business. Now, last year, she now came. She said she had black armpits or something like that. Miss Monica, in case you see this, I'm saying this out of love, right? Okay, so she, she said she had a black armpit. She was able to get the cream that solved that black armpit problem, right? Now, she, in her Miss Monica page, she will now show us how her armpit has moved from being black to being clear. And she now brought in that product, I think from Malaysia or somewhere, she now brought in that product to Nigeria, created a brand, and she's now selling it. The day she announced that product on her page, that page where the uh, armpit cream was being sold had more than 5,000 followers in less than how many hours? So because she, 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 has, she has become a pro in the hair business, she has gained trust, she has gained loyalty, she has gained followers, she has made money, People now believe in her. So when she decided to, can you guys still hear me? What's going on? Am I off on? Am I off on? Oh, I don't know what's going on. Can you guys still hear me? Can anybody still hear me? Yes, we can. I can hear you. Oh, great. Okay. I don't know why my screen just popped up. Okay. So when she now decided to do something else, it was easy. But before she said, in fact, she has even started another one, weight loss and weight gain. 
but she became a master in one first. So you that have 20 businesses, which one are you a master in? So in this 2022, my dear, you have 20 businesses, shut down 19 and focus on one. Focus on one. Let this year be the year where that one will be the master. And when that one, you have gained mastery over it, you have made profits, you have gained the name, you have gained visibility, it will not be easy to do others. Even, even the, the spiritual fathers, I mean, Bishop gained the, uh, Bishop David Oyepo gained the mastery as being a bishop. And when he wrote his book, he did not need advert to sell the book because he had gained mastery as being a preacher of the word of faith. So when he now writes a book, the book sells out before the book is published. When Dangote gained max mastery in selling cement, by the time he now launched his, his noodles and his dancer juice, those ones sold out without stress because he has gained mastery. Omotala Jalade gained mastery as being a movie personality. So when she came to sing, even if the song is, it might be meaningful or meaningless, no matter what the song is, because it is Omotala that sang that song, that album will be sold out. I heard a gist about Kim Kardashian. She launched her perfume line. She has gained mastery as being an influencer or a TV personality. And she launched her perfume line and it sold out at the day it was launched. How about? So you're doing plenty of business. You say, don't worry, I'm making 5,000 here. I'm making 20,000 here. You can make 1 million from one. Gain mastery in one. You fail because you're doing so many things. Your, your attention is divided. It's like... You, you want to grow a baby and a puppy and a chick, chicken baby. You want to grow cat baby at the same time. You want all of them. You, they need different food to survive. They need different attention. You can't grow all of them together. But if you have three plants, they're all baby, baby, baby. So one business can have three branches. One business can have, you know, whatever. All those branches need the same food to grow but not many businesses. The next point is no uniqueness, no value. You are selling hair, you're like everybody that is selling hair. You're selling car, you're like everybody that is selling car. You're, you're like everybody, there is nothing different about you. What I'm doing right now is business coaching. There are plenty of business coaches, but I am the only bounce back coach in Africa created a uniqueness around the same business coaching that is everywhere. You will see business strategies, digital marketer, the same name being repeated, being repeated, being repeated. But there are people that have created a name around their brand and they're the only ones. Uniqueness. They are, they are not two bounce back coaches in Africa. I have checked everywhere. I've seen some in America somewhere, but in Africa, no, we're not two, it's only me. But last class, what am I doing is business coaching. <laughs> no uniqueness around your, your business. You're just like others. Why should I leave A and come to B? Why should I leave the people I'm already using right now and come to you? What is it about you? No uniqueness, no value. There is nothing special you're doing. If I buy shoe from me, it's like buying shoe from anybody. But there are some stores, you buy shoe from them, they will deliver for you, give you a free polish and tell you, um, give you a free manual on, you know, make sure you don't wear these stiletto shoes and go to a place that has interlocking floors, just a little write-up to tell you where not to wear stiletto shoes to. Because if you wear a pencil heel in a place that has interlocking floors, that thing under the heel will, will fall off. Little advice here or there. Some people might not even read it, but there is value. There is value, there is something you're offering. These blinds behind me, the people that installed it, they do one year free maintenance. So if you spoil anything, they come and fix. I tested it a few days ago. They came and they fixed. Even transport money, the guy refused to collect. Value, uniqueness. So tomorrow, if I'm telling you, if I'm building a, a house or I'm furnishing an office somewhere, you think I will not call them any, any I won't call them again. Even if somebody brings their marketing strategy to me and tells me, ah, our blind is this, I'll tell the person, thank you. I have people that are giving me value. Blind is blind everywhere. Blind is blind everywhere. But what is the uniqueness? What is the value your business is offering? None. That might be a reason why you're not succeeding. Number three is poor customer relations. I don't want us to spend more than two hours in this meeting. The next is poor customer relations. Okay, now 
most of our our either us or, or our sales reps, our sales girls and sales boys, the people will walk into your store or into your office and they are doing as if it's a privilege that the people came. There are the reasons why you are in business. Your customers, your clients are the reasons why you are in business. Without them, you are broke. Without them, you do not have money, period. They are the reasons why you wake up, you mop your office, you open the windows, you do this. And when the people now finally come in, you treat them badly. Is that not madness? Without their money, you don't have money. So you need to treat them exceptionally well. I always use an example of when I went to Burger King. And we know you both people don't like us. No doubt. This black skin, they don't like it. But you must serve me. And the annoying thing is that we saw coupons. We are a lot of Nigerians that went on that trip. So we saw coupons inside a newspaper of free burgers in Burger King. Trust Niger babes. All of us carry newspaper. I was saying, check that front row. It's like I saw one newspaper when I was entering this bus. We were tearing that page 16, collecting free coupons. We now use our newspaper coupon and entered Burger King. I said, oh boy, you will promise us free burgers, chip, chips and burger. Give me my burger. You will know they are not happy. You will know they were disgusted by us, but men, they got to smile. Don't smile, you'll be fired. They were nice. <laughs> you got the coupons too. <laughs> In their mind, they might be saying, you black monkey, but man, guy, give me my burger. Give me my burger. You must be nice to me. So even if you don't like that customer, maybe they're smelling, their mouth is smelling, you need to treat them right because their money is the reason why you came out. Poor customer relations. We are not friendly. Some people will say, Madam, check, I'm there now. See you there. Not be there, you pass. You know, they see road. Like, that is what is obtainable in Nigeria. Even when they chat you up, some people will tell you, sorry, I don't reply chat on Saturday. I'm like, are these people okay? I don't reply chat on Saturday. Madam, can't you see? Today is Saturday, please. Chat me up on Monday, eh? Don't be online at all. Leave that part of Instagram or that part of WhatsApp. As long as you're there, even if you want to rest, there's a way to say it. The fourth one is your lights are turned off. I think I've talked about that. Dancing shaku shaku in the dark. No advert, no publicity, no billboard, no flyer, no radio jingle, no Instagram ad, no Facebook ad. You're not doing anything. Your lights are turned off and you are dancing so hard. You're dancing so hard. Your sweats are dropping and you're making no profit. Nobody knows you. So if you have a business and you don't run advert, I'm sorry you're not in business. You're actually not in business. Then the last one, reasons why you failed is you don't do things professionally. You do things anyhow. You do things anyhow. Sometimes you'll be eating in front of your customers. You just, you just misbehave. You do things anyhow. In our travel office on Mondays, Wednesdays, I tell my staff, you must be on a red dress. You must, you must be on a red, you're a travel staff. It's not the normal. Sometimes they feel embarrassed that, ah, with all this buff up, we're not going to enter boss. I say, dress anyhow, come here, come here, change. Do things professionally. People will address you the way you are dressed or the way you act, okay? So is there anything that somebody is guilty of among these reasons, these five reasons, why you think your business is not succeeding or why you think your business is failing? Is there anybody that is guilty? Just say, if it's lack of focus, say one. If it's no uniqueness, no value, say two. If it's poor customer relations, say three. If it is no advert, you're dancing shaku shaku in the dark, say four. And if you don't do things professionally, I want to see your response in the chat box. What is the reason why you think your business is not succeeding? What are you doing? What are you doing wrong? What are you doing wrong? I want to see your response, 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 okay? Four, uh-huh, no advert. Majority of people are, uh, <laughs> are guilty of this. I'm expecting somebody to say one, two, three, four, five, all of them. No ads, no visibility, lack of structure, exactly. You know, without advert, there's no disability. Juggling so many things at once. Delete all those businesses and focus on one. You will thank me later. It is usually not easy to let go because you have become sentimentally attached to those businesses. But I'm not saying you should off it forever. Keep it for a while. Focus on one. Focus on the one that you're more excited about and has been giving you profit. Something I'm going to add to our course outline is how to research 
using Google Trends. Now, let me tell you, it is easier now than ever before. There are so many tools, majority are free tools on products that you can sell. There was the, my last free webinar, I asked this question. Let me ask it again. My nine to five job takes my time a lot, oh dear. Let me ask this question again. If you love to sell, like, you know, they have deceived us a lot that if you're selling palm oil, if you're selling palm oil in Nigeria, stop selling palm oil, start exporting palm oil to America. People in America need palm oil. They will just be deceiving us, exportation everywhere, palm oil. Your palm oil will stay there rotting, nobody will buy it. Palm oil is there, there's enough palm oil in America. When I went to have my second baby, I went to stay my mother's sister's house in Texas. I thought I was doing the woman a favor. I took a Ziploc bag of crayfish and a Ziploc bag of, of, uh, of bono and a Ziploc bag of a goosey. In my mind, if I reach America, this woman will hug me and tell me, oh, thank you for this crayfish Ziploc. The biggest size Ziploc bag is I grinded crayfish, grinded a bono and grinded a goosey and took for her, in my mind, uh, because I'm staying in your house for free, I have brought this thing to make you happy. So when I arrived there, I gave it to her and I was very excited that uh, she'll be happy that I brought her Ogbono. She now took me to the basement, as in this fridge, no day for kitchen. Sorry for my pigeon. This particular freezer she took me to is not the freezer or the fridge in the kitchen. It was in the basement, the garage. She now took me there and showed me a bag of a goosey. You know this sack bag they used to put in Gary? A bag of a goosey, a bag of crayfish. So they have it. They have people bringing things from them in Nigeria. In fact, they can even order it from the market. These market women will send it to them. They will now come and lie to you and say, if you start exporting crayfish to America, nobody will buy. Your crayfish will spoil, it will rot in. Nobody will buy it. But there are tools you can use. Just go to Google Trends, trends.google.com. Type crayfish, put um, United States and see who is searching for crayfish. So you that is passionate about selling crayfish, I cook African food, let me start exporting crayfish. Meanwhile, what they are looking for is African toothpick, toothpick. So because is it, if you now search and see that people looking for crayfish are like maybe 2%, then you now see that 2,000% of people are looking for, crayf or, or for toothpick. Which one will you sell, crayfish or toothpick? Man, to hell with that crayfish. I'd rather sell what, if 2,000 people are looking for toothpick, I will export toothpick and I know that once I send 2,000, 2,000 is finishing because there's a demand for it. So most of our frustration is coming from the fact that we are selling things that there is no demand. Nobody's looking for that product because they told you to follow your passion, follow your dream, follow passion. You will follow passion and you enter a passionate situation. Let's move on, okay? So for everybody that has one reason or the other why they think their business is not succeeding, we're gonna get it right in seven days, God helping us, okay? So all things are passed away and behold, all things have become new. Let's go, let's go of the past and let's do it right. Now, remember going back to this slide, some of these things might be very emotional for you to take that decision, but you need to take that decision. If your nine to five job is taking your time, you need to learn how this is how I was able to work even with my paid job, right? When I come back, I eat, I sleep almost immediately. No movies, no. In fact, there is no TV. I wish I can even do a 360 for you people here. There ain't no television anywhere here. Nothing. See my finish. I don't have television. Netflix, where now? Even this Christmas period, they said I should come and do a... What was that thing? They said, well, we should do home cinema, family cinema. Let's buy popcorn and eat. I said, okay, they should buy the popcorn. When I saw that everybody was already into the movie, I tiptoed and walked out. Like, have a... So come back from work, eat and sleep. 3 a.m. wake up. There are so many things you can achieve between 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. You want to create an online course. You want to create a quick video. You want to check your, you know, you want to check your your comment section, you can actually do stuff. Is it possible to satisfy all your customers? No, how? I mean, you can do your best, but in life itself, as I'm speaking now, some people might be extremely excited. Some people are saying, this woman, you're talking nonsense. You can't satisfy everybody. When I post these videos, maybe I post it on YouTube, you will see likes and you see dislikes. 
somebody feels like, oh my God, thank God I didn't miss this class. Another person is saying, I beg to mind, they waste my data. You can't please everybody, but you have to do your best with the best practices that, that is available that you have learned. Okay, so those that said number four, your lights are turned off, all you need to do is run ad. Day seven, we are focusing on how to run ad, but juggling so many things, please drop it. Prayerfully with, uh, with Google Trend, use analy uh, analytics, analytics, yes, algorithms, check what is on in high demand and focus on that one thing. When that one has grown, there's this lady I did, I think my bounce back in 30 days is in three or so. She's a lady that sells tire, car tire. We branded her as the lady tire maker. Her own is to sell tire, tire. So it's a brand she created around that one thing. The day that woman, after two, three years, decides to say she wants to start selling car now, she has her clientele, people that have trusted her. So you're keeping that business on the side. You're not killing it per se, but focus on one and make that one, you know, to make sense. So a lot of people are talking about no ads, no visibility. We are going to handle that, all right? Okay, so things you need to stop doing, I'll be very quick about this. I think we've taken so much time. Stop crying about your past. You can't change it. It don't happen, it don't happen. Make the future better. Okay, whatever has happened, has happened. Stop crying about it. Stop complaining or talking about the failure. I mean, most of the people you're complaining to are either really happy you failed. <laughs> All those people that are going to say, oh my God, I did this and I messed up. Some of them in their mind, they're saying, nah. they're actually hailing you for failing, you know, or for the fact that you messed up. So most people you're complaining to or talking to about your problem are actually happy you're in that problem. You know, so stop talking about it and stop giving excuses. Excuse will only excuse you in life. Then stop sharing your game plan with people. Ah, I'm sure most of you, some of your friends already know, oh God, what did that mean? At seven days, you've already told them, stop discussing your game plan. Thank God you told them you'll be here. But please don't tell them what you plan to do. Shock them when you have done it, you know. My husband will always tell me they say walls have ears. Me, I used to think is majority of the things I shared with friends they never come to pass. But the one I just keep quiet and do, I don't know what's the spirit behind it. Or I don't know what's the I don't know what it is. But all those ones we always talk about, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen, and I cannot really explain why. So stop talking about the game plan. Just do it and shock them, including your friends. So now, why we have to do journey to self-discovery before editing our bio and you know checking if our Instagram bio or Facebook bio is in order is with this, you can try to understand which business you should do in 2022. I've been using the hashtag focus, 2022 focus, like all these plenty, plenty things are not taking. All right, so understand your, your, your uniqueness. You know, a lot of people struggle with discovering themselves and any questions so far, because we're kind of about to leave a particular section and we're entering into journey to self-discovery. We are done with the bounce back series. Any question on that? So we could tackle it five, 10 minutes and move on. How many hours have we spent? How many minutes? So this is one hour. So it's two hours class daily. So we'll have another one hour for this 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there, and we move. Any question, if there's no question, we move on. Any question? Okay, so right now, whatever you wanna see in this year, 2022, you need to create it. You need to create it. If you want, if you want this year to end well, you need to create it. If you want struggle to end in your life, you need to make it happen. So we need to decide what is that tool? What is that one thing I'm gonna do that I'm gonna use and put my 100% energy into this year it is not god's responsibility you know for you to succeed it is your responsibility like i said everything has already been given to you so first of all a lot of people struggle with discovering themselves and this has hindered or stopped them from making progress so i have this to say to you you don't have to figure out your life's purpose right now all you need to figure out is your next bold move okay because in discovering yourself you discover yourself when you are doing i know i have i have 
gotten job offers in so many places. I will walk a week or two and I'm like, no way, this is not me. I've tried to be a staff. I'm like, ah, it's not working, it's not me. So I took the next bold move. And while trying to work in a company, and I realized that this is not me. If I had not worked in any company, I wouldn't be able to be able to detect that it is not me. So let's keep that. Let me discover myself. I must discover myself. Who am I? Forget about discovering yourself for now. Just discover the next, what is the next bold move I must take? Remember tomorrow we are creating our first YouTube channel. So what is it going to be? That first bold move. If you do it and succeed, awesome. If you do it and fail at it, awesome. Because at least you have learned what you're not supposed to do. So because we run away from this thing called failure, like I said, you are not the one that has failed. It is the events that failed. So because we run away from that thing called failure, we don't take steps. But in failure, you would now discover what should and what shouldn't. Discovering yourself is a great stuff to do, but you can't discover yourself being idle. You cannot discover yourself being idle. You must discover yourself doing something. Um, this is a scriptural verse that kind of explains everything I'm saying right now. Um, Moses told the people, do not be afraid. Stand firm and see. Now, Moses was saying this from a good heart, from a good man that he is. He was telling them, stand firm. Don't be afraid, though, but stand firm. And you will see the deliverance of the Lord, that the Lord will bring deliverance to you. You know, the Egyptians you see today, you see them no more. And the Lord now answered and said, Moses, what are you saying? Why are you people crying out to me? Tell them to move, move on, move forward, keep going. So what you do when heaven is silent is keep going, keep go, just keep going, right? So it's not time to now over analyze, over just take that next bold move. So that next bold move, you must, you must know it tonight because tomorrow your first YouTube channel on that move is going to be launched. No one benefits from stagnation or unproductivity. Even God caused the fig tree when he saw it was not producing anything. So if you're in one place, you're already smelling, you're stinking, stagnant water, you're, you're smelling. So you need to engage in something authentic, look for problems and solve it. That is how people succeed. You are the bridge between people confused, people having problems. You are the bridge between them to getting their desired outcome. So you see people that are fat, make them slim, you will have money. You see people don't know where to eat good food from, deliver food from their house, you will have money. You see people that don't know how to run Facebook adverts, help them run Facebook adverts, you will have money. Any problem you see is a potential millions and billions for you. So discover problem, don't run away from problem. Me, I love problem. I love it. And I want the world to love it too, because embedded in problems are your millions that you are looking for. Okay, so discover a ready market and fill the gap that is needed there. Get busy doing something. While at it, you will now say, oh no, this is me or this is not me. Sometimes people will say, man, where have, what have I even been doing? Like I am so enjoying this and I'm so profiting from this and you know, and I'm making money out of it. So you, you see that you discover that, man, this is me or you discover that, man, this is not me. And the truth is that some of us, maybe we are working in a place we have already discovered this is not me. But fear of the unknown, we are still there. The truth is that some of us hate our jobs. It does not give us any atom of excitement. And I'll not ask you what is your salary. You tell me 200,000, 300,000. And I'm like, are you, are you okay? And what is inside you? you can, is the money you can make in a day? And I'm like, what is wrong with people? I am not an advocate of resign and do business. No, I am not. But discover what to do. Do it. When you start succeeding exponentially, you let you resign and move on. And go and impact lives and make yourself happy and go on vacations, which is the ultimate. <laughs> Becoming who you were created to be is the ultimate goal. That's the ultimate. That's the final, final. The, that comedian, I don't know his name, you said the other part, part of them all is that you, you, you become whom you are created to be. You know, there is no joy or fun in being somebody else. I have tried to be plenty of people in this, my life, oh, as you see me like this, I have tried to be plenty of people. 
But I now got to a point, I said, man, enough is enough. It is time to be you. I have been uniquely crafted and wired for a particular thing. So why am I struggling to fit into something else that doesn't flow? You know, today is first of, um, what is it called? First of, of January. There are a lot of people that wanted me to do happy new year designs for them. I kept doing happy new year designs to like 30 minutes to this program. My husband had to tell me, won't you look at your slide now? Won't you read? Told the children, okay, you should not disturb her. Allow her to, to read and understand so that she can be able to teach. I said, okay, it's good. So I just used 30 minutes to go through my slides. But this thing is, the flow is out of the abundance of the hearts that the mouth speaks. It is in us. I don't need too much preparation to talk about the life that I'm living. So why do I now have to, but if you now tell me to teach on, uh, maybe teach people how to become a professional chef here, yeah. that one I need to be looking at my book like this to be talking because I don't know when it comes to all those cooking professional food, continental here, flour chicken, all those things, man, I don't know if they talk there. So if I want to pretend to be that person, it is gonna be extremely difficult for me to do that. So why struggle when you can easily do something that works so well, okay? So now discover your tiny dots. I have a question here. How can you increase your followers? Give value, give so much value, give so much value. I put up a post that I'm doing this free stuff. People started telling people, I didn't run advert. I can't even remember the last time I ran adverts. I intend to start running advert again this year, but value give value it might be free it might not be free once in a while free things cannot kill you but the scripture that made me to that triggered me to doing this free stuff was the story of pharaoh right he was interpreting dreams for free interpreting dreams for free he kept interpreting dreams for free and one day that his free interpretation of dreams took him to the palace out of the prison to the palace and do you think when he got to the palace, he was still doing it for free? When people send for you because they know your value, at that point, because they sent for you, they will pay you. My first bounce back in 30 days was totally free. Inside that bounce back in 30 days was the regional manager of Mercedes-Benz, I didn't know, was the um, MD CEO of Ab Abuli Ekba Festival. So when Abuli Ekba Festival now invited me to Lagos to come and train um, Abuli Ekba Trade Fair, when they now invited me to come and train their vendors, they paid for it. They paid my flights, they paid my hotel, and they paid for me to come and speak in their events. But first of all, they met me in a free class. So you give value. My following increased to 8,000 with free things, with value that I was offering on Instagram. Okay, so give value and be out there. Videos are another great ways to sell your products, keep doing stuff. YouTube is another way when you're giving value on YouTube, people will come and look for you on social media and they will follow you. Then of course, adverts are another ways to increase. I don't believe in buying followers because you will have followers that don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know how it works. I don't even know how they do it, all right? So discover your tiny dots, steps, sorry. Mm, it's going off. Yes, you can. Sorry about that. Sorry. Okay, so discover your tiny dots. How do I explain this? Oh. Uh, so um, let me bring a, a sheet of paper because I want to show you people this. It's not in my slide. Or oh, is it there? No, it's not. So there is a big circle. There's a big circle. This is people that are selling shoe. At the same time, you're selling bag. You're selling to men, women. You're selling to everybody. Boys shoes, girls shoes, women shoes. The very big circle. But you can decide to narrow it down. Instead of shoes, shirts, bags, sell only shoe. Narrow it down to the next small circle. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this. To the next small circle. The next small circle could be, okay, it's now only shoes. But you're still selling the shoes to men, shoes to women, shoes to girls. After a while, narrow it down and say, okay, only males. Male is um, young boys, 
old men, just keep reducing the circle until you have gotten to the tiniest dots. Once you have gotten to the tiniest, keep deleting, deleting, deleting until your audience has become so slim. Discover the tiniest dots. Discover that niche. You keep reducing, reducing. So like me, I'm a business consultant, but I removed, I don't want to do business for somebody that's already making billions. Someone making billions is not my clients. My clients are people that are strong. You're in business, so, but you're struggling. You're struggling in business or you have failed in business. You're finding it difficult to get back up on your feet. So reduce the audience until it becomes so tiny. Now, the tiniest dot you reduce it to, even if you say you want to sell those shoes to only boys between two to four years. Imagine somebody comes to your Instagram bio and they see shoes for two to four years. In that niche of selling shoes to only people between two years to four years, we have millions of people in that niche. There are plenty of people. So imagine you are now a pro. You're only selling size, maybe size six to size eight shoe. That is all you sell. That's all you import. That's all you do. When people know you as a baba in selling size two, uh, be two years to four years shoe, or you can even say baby shoe only. You know how many babies are born every day? So if you're known as an expert in selling baby shoes, or you're not selling beep, you're not selling shirt, cap, shoes only, kiddies shoe world for babies less than six months or less than two years. So no matter how tiny you have reduced your circle, reduce the circle, reduce the circle until it becomes a tiny dot, even that tiny dot has massive audience. Okay, so questions you need to answer to help you discover your niche is what problem do you find around you you can easily solve or easily, easily relate to it, you can intellect, intelligently solve. What are the problems you see around you? So you can, you know, answer that question. Um, I don't know if I'm going to give out this slide. Maybe I could drop it in the group so you can, you know, answer these questions let, later. What problems do you find around you you can easily relate to, you can easily solve? And who are the people affected by this problem? Who are the people affected by this problem? In the area where I live, I discovered the problem. It's not the business I want to do, but I discovered the problem that there is no gas station around close to the house where you can fill your gas. So whenever gas, if your gas finish at odd hour here, it is very well with you. If somebody will start a business where you do a mobile gas delivery in this estate, you will make a lot of money. So what are the problems around you that, who are the people affected? People living here. And it is straight up to gas refills. Okay, be detailed and be specific on the people affected by that problem. So these are homes in this estate. You are targeting the particular people, all right? Now, where are these people located and what is the best way to reach them? You know, your own might be, they're online. People that are struggling with running adverts, they are online. How do you reach them online? Whatever it is the problem. These people, what do they need? They want their gas filled. They want their adverts to convert whatever it is your own so these five questions is it is it something you can offer the first question is what's the problem number two who is affected by the problem number three where is this person located number four what do they need number five when you give them that service when you give them that solution, how will their life transform? When you know the problem and the transformation, you will now use that part of copy, copyrighted now. You will now use the problem to show them the solution. For example, are you struggling to fill your gas? Get quick 15 minutes delivery. That's the solution. Problem, solution. Show them the problem to their face. Show them people that uh, are size 42, like people like us. We don't have fine shoes because our legs are too big. You understand? So if you now bring that problem, I hardly, when I see any shoe that enters my leg, I buy it because I hardly see. I see, I can see once in a year. So when I see a shop that has size 42, I will just buy it. In fact, if I don't have money, I'll say, but I keep it for me because it's like a treasure. So I'm sure there are a lot of people passing through what I'm passing through. So the problem is, 
are you looking for a, a large size shoe that can fit you or whatever? Call me for size 42, 43, 44 shoes. Problem solution, problem solution. Now be the person to bridge the gap. When you bridge the gap by giving solutions, that is how you make your exponential wealth, okay? So these five things I will try. I'll think about this if I'm gonna give out my slide. I'll drop it on the group so that you can answer these questions very well, okay? Answering these questions and help you discover your tiny dots. All right, this is just me using myself to answer the question. I'll try and use myself. What problems can you, can you find around you? Business ignorance and failures. People are failing because they are ignorant, okay? Who are the people mostly affected by it? Young entrepreneurs in Nigeria sub areas. Where are these people located? Nigerian sub areas, okay? What's the best way to reach out to them? Online adverts and social media. What do they need? They need knowledge on how to set up professional adverts and blah, 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 blah. And what solution can you bring to them? Effective marketing strategy. So this is me using myself. So you can also go ahead and answer yours. Now, why is this important for our page audits? Because in your bio, you have to put your value proposition. Value proposition is that thing that... Um, is that response you give to somebody, maybe you go for a conference or, um, or a trade fair or whatever sales meeting out there and someone say, hi, nice to meet you. So what do you do now? What do you respond? I sell shoes, no. I sell wigs, no. So first of all, from the problem, I help, who are those people you help? I help plus size women find amazing fitted outfits that helps them look beautiful and attractive. So last, 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 so now clothes you sell, so. <laughs> but don't say I sell clothes for fat women, no. I help, I create amazing designs that helps uh, upcoming businesses or small businesses, you know, stand out amongst their competitors, making them gain visibility, blah, 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 blah. So I help dash or I create or I produce or I whatever. All right. Now I dash. That dash is your audience. Who are the people you help? I help ladies struggling with this. I help young men struggling with addiction. I help fat women that look unkempt. You know, who are the people? Streamline your audience. Reduce it to saying men, women is too broad. Men, women is too broad. Business is too broad. What kind of business? So mine is, I help struggling or failing businesses get back on their feet. But of course, Instagram will not allow you to speak all this plenty, plenty grammar. So if you go to my page, you will see how I was able to cut it. But at least the point is there. But some of us, in our Instagram bio, you go there, you see lover of God, mother of four, who is not a lover of God? I bet who is a hater of God? Make I ask Kuna. You understand? Lover of God, mother of four. And if it is your personal page, your personal page, yes, that we will understand. But if it is your business page, you have a very short time to create an impact, to make somebody to want to follow you or buy from you. So your bio should be clear with what you do and let it be something catchy that when the people that you're speaking to see it, they can easily relate, okay? So your value proposition is your specific future or that service that you offer, which makes you or your product unique, attractive to your potential customers, all right? So um, I don't know if somebody can try to create theirs, but I'm not going to wait for you to create. You can be trying it. You can either drop it here or you drop it in our Telegram group. Drop your own value proposition using what we have, you know, learned today on how you can do that. I help your audience to achieve what? What do you help them last? What's the solution? By doing what? What do you do to them to help them get that service? I hope we understand. If you don't understand, watch this part again and again and again. But just use this as a guideline, all right? Okay. So now we have to go, go ahead and create yours. Other ways you can discover what you should do is your skill and your expertise. Number two is your passion. Number three is your mess. Me, I am using my mess. 
my failures, my bad, ex my ugly experiences. It is my mess that I'm using to help others not to pass through the same mess that I passed through. There's a book I'm working on, my 101 mistakes in 2021. It's going to bless lives because people are still making that mistake daily. All right. Number one of that mistake is never sign a document out of trust. Be anybody says, come and sign these papers. Tell the person, go and come back. Let me read it well. If you're reading it, I don't understand. Please look for a lawyer friend and tell them, help me read this thing. Just one tip out there. <laughs> okay. So I'm working on that. You know, my 101 mistakes in 2021. And I'm still thinking if I should sell it or if I should give it out for free because I want it to bless lives. All right. So your mess can also be a way um, for you to discover your niche, your skill, your expertise, your passion. Transform that mess. First of all, you have to love the mess. Oh no, I need to end this call. You have to love that mess. Transform that mess. Help others not to go through it. Create powerful messages. Produce um, massive testimonies from it. Wipe the tears off your face. Sir, please, can I call you back? Wipe, wipe the tears off your face before you can help others wipe their own tears. I hope I'm still online. The call is, okay. So whatever it is, pick one and start doing. So can you guys share with me as I've been talking, does somebody have an idea of that one thing they wanna do? Is it the same with what you're doing right now or do you want to venture into something totally different? Whatever it, it is, pick one thing and start working on it. And you'll be in your, and or you will be in your present situation for a longer time than expected. You have just between this night and tomorrow's class to find that one thing you want to do and start doing it. You can change your niche at any time. You do this one for a while and you find that it's not you. Change it, that Instagram page, change the name, delete the pictures and start afresh until you find that thing that works for you, okay? So become the place where you go to for let people become the place where people go to for solutions to their problem. There's an industry waiting for you to crush. Now go ahead and crush it, crush it, crush it, guys. Look for that, look for that. So quickly, if you have your Instagram, Facebook, I want us to, there are just five things I want to spot out on our Facebook page. And when we get back to the Telegram group, because I don't want this video to be too long, we can also look at it. You can do a screenshot of your Instagram page, drop it on the Telegram group. I'll look at it and tell you what is right or what is wrong. Well, two things I must say here, the rest we can discuss on Telegram, I think until 10 p.m. or so, is your username, the top, 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 top part of your page. Now, let's say, for example, your business name is um, Johnson and Johnson's Limited, but what you sell is phones, for example. That Instagram page does not have to be called Johnson and Johnson's Limited. Call it the phone place, the phone world. Let your username be, let, let, let your username explain what you do. So not necessarily the company name you registered. So people make that mistake a lot because I've registered Johnson's and Johnson's. So therefore my Instagram page is Johnson and Johnson's. Please, what does Johnson and Johnson's do? People even think it is Johnson baby soap you're selling and come to you and be asking you for Johnson baby soap and Johnson baby cream. Forget about what you registered it as. Let the name, your page name right now check. Is your page name explaining what you sell? Page name, does it explain what you sell? I mean, your username, your username, does it explain what you sell? Okay, then now your bio, I've told you how to, uh, to write your bio. It's the first thing that people will see. It, it should explain your services that you render. I've already talked about that. Now the page name on top is what people are searching for. Is what people are searching for. Okay, so I have this um, brand. Oh, I have this brand. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, my travel company, my page name says migrates to US, UK, Canada, ETC. So anybody that is looking for how to migrate, leave this country, they will just be attracted to this page. You gain following by doing this. You gain following by doing this. For some people, your page name is your name. Johnson and Johnson, your username is your name, Johnson and Johnson. People come and see Johnson and Johnson and they don't understand. 
So let your page name ex be what people normally search for. Then your username should explain, okay, what you actually do. So um, I was able to, I was just trying to come up with possible names that people can use for their businesses. If you do weight loss, you can do perfect body, perfect body by, by Lillian, you know, or perfect, excellent hair by Jane. Somebody will just see that thing and they'll know his hair you're talking about. Instead of saying Jane, Jenny Max International, Jenny Max International, is, is selling what now? We do not know. Jane Maxwell, Jane Max. Sorry, I'm using your name because I'm seeing it on my screen. You go, okay, so if it is a hair company, say hair by Jenny, all right? Food at your door. That can be a name of your, your, your username. Food at your door. Maybe the company name is even uh, Jennifer Ozoku International. But what to sell is food. So I cannot relate Jenny to, I cannot relate Jennifer to food. So let your username, change that username tonight. If you're having issues with accepting what is right or what is wrong, screenshot your profile page, which is this, this page, okay? That has your profile picture. Screenshot it, post it on the group, we'll audit it, look at it together and see what is right or what is wrong, okay? So this is gonna be the end of day one. Tomorrow, I, before we start the classes, I want to know what is that one thing? What is that bold step you're taking? All right. With that one thing, we're creating our we're creating our YouTube channels. We'll start giving out content and all that and all that. Any questions? Time for questions. I don't want the video to be too long. So tomorrow we are doing our product branding. If your logo is a mess, it has to change. If you don't have um unique backgrounds, you don't have templates, your page is not following a particular sequence or structure, plenty colors. Today you use pink, tomorrow yellow, next tomorrow pop, we don't be using colors anyhow. We will check all that. Product and business branding, then we are deleting that fear, that thing called fear. We are using video as a tool to delete fear. All of you, you will press this play and record this your face and do a video and you will post the video. Video is a powerful tool to delete fear. You know, I, I, you will have a lot of people say, ha, huh, this babe don't, this babe don't, she don't wise up or she don't do like that, do like that. But yes, let's take them by surprise. Yes, thank you everybody. So any question, any question, any question, any question, this is time for question and answer. I think we can have 15 minutes for this. It's five minutes to seven. We are supposed to end by 7.30. So yes, drop your questions or you can unmute yourself. Can you unmute yourself or should I unmute everybody? Can you unmute yourself? Somebody should try to unmute his or herself. I have not done that. Great, so let's have you Questions? Okay, I have a question. Let me stop recording at this point so that um, you know this.